I got to say, I think this is like one of the prettiest looks I've done recently. And just the headband just was like, mwah, perfect. <laughs> oh, okay, so let me get a little bit situated here. The goal for today is going to go through, is to go through all of my recommendations for the Sephora sale. I have a whole playlist full of videos and lives where I go through and basically tell you my best recommendations for the sale. I've done this for a couple of years, so I've got videos going back to 2018 if you want to check those out. What I did for today, last night and this morning, I went through literally my whole makeup collection section by section. And so I actually have a lot of products here to talk about. Uh, most of them are older products, not a whole lot of like brand new releases, but that's kind of how I go for recommendations and reviews. I like to pick products that are uh, tried and true, like really good. Some of these are expensive products that I really only recommend you can get if you can get them on sale. Um, so yeah, so we're going to start uh, just going through all the products that I would recommend for the sale. And then at the very end, we may go through what I have in my Sephora basket because I have not actually made my purchase yet because uh, I keep changing it. <laughs> So, so far I've changed my basket like four times, um, but I think I finally have like what I'm actually going to buy. So if anyone's interested at the very end, after all the recommendations, we can go through and I'll tell you what I'm going to buy. Though I think I'm going to do a separate video of my Sephora sale haul. Um, so I don't want to get too repetitive there. But let's go ahead and jump into the products I'm going to recommend. So we've got a good mix here. I've got some foundation, concealer, powder, and then we've got fun things like eyeshadow, highlighter, lipsticks, a, a whole lot of everything. So I'm going to start with a foundation that I was actually sent in PR a little while ago, but that I love and I can't wait to actually purchase one for myself. And that's the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. Unfortunately, the shade that I have is just a little too dark for me, so you can see a little bit of a shade difference. I am wearing a lot of these products on today, so whenever we get to a product that I am wearing, I will mention it. Um, but this is such a perfect like medium coverage, dewy foundation. You can definitely wear this on no makeup makeup days if you don't want to wear um, like powder or anything. It does set down, not completely. It will be slightly, you know, transferable. Um, but this is just perfect, I think, for like the upcoming summer, especially as um, hopefully as more people get vaccinated, you can actually go out and do things. Typically when I go out and I have to wear a mask, I'm not wearing any foundations. So yeah, I if anything, I wear a glowy primer, but this is something I could see like wearing underneath my mask actually going out and about because it does have SPF and um, it feels more like a moisturizer than like a foundation. So for me wearing it, I feel like less, I feel like I would have less irritation under my mask <laughs> than most of anything else. Um, the only reason I haven't already rebought this, because I did use up, you can see I've used up a lot of this already. I'm waiting. They did say that they're eventually going to make just the refillable pen part re available for purchase so that you don't have to rebuy the whole, like, container. And it's supposed to cut down on plastic, and I'm really excited for that. So once they make those available, because I think they said, do I still have the card? I might still have my PR card, actually. No. Oh, what? Do I? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Let's see. Do they mention it? <laughs> yeah, it just says refillable cartridge coming soon and online only. Refill we fill car cartridges cut down on 66% of plastic waste, hold the same amount of formula as the original, easy to replace in its new and improved rollerball packaging, and it will be sold separately. So once those re refillable packages are going to be available for sale, I will be picking one up because I do want to get just a slightly lighter shade, but also because they are trying to cut down on plastic and everything, I think that's going to be a really great way. And it's going to be slightly cheaper, I think, because this actual foundation the whole thing is $42, which is a little bit pricey, um, but that's why I'm recommending it to get during the sale. Uh, and I do not know how much the actual refill is going to be. I have a feeling it's probably not going to be too much cheaper. I don't know. If it's $42 for the whole thing, I'm guessing they probably have it at around $38 to $40 for just the refill, just to give it a little slight incentive for you to keep the packaging and just keep reusing it. But I'm excited, and I really do. I, I'm shocked by how much I like this. As someone who isn't a huge fan of like light to medium coverage kind of light BB CC creams. I've been more into them recently, uh, but this was just really, really good and really impressed me. And I thought the packaging would be messy and gross, but it's actually like really nice. Like, and that's me not 
going out of my way to clean this. I just use this now and this is just how it looks after using. It's not really that messy, surprisingly. So first recommendation down. Uh, I only picked out one foundation, one concealer and one powder to talk about because typically like those are the kind of products I would just get at the drugstore. There are so many great affordable options, but I did want to pop in some like luxury-ish or higher end-ish uh, options for those if you guys want to splurge during a sale. Because that's kind of what I do during these sales. More expensive products that I probably wouldn't pick up is what I'm going to go for during the sale. So the next product I have is a concealer and it is a concealer I'm wearing under my eyes and a, a little bit on my forehead and down on my chin today. This is the Pat McGrath's Concealer. Um, I have shade L2. It's actually a really good shade for me. And this was also sent to me in PR, but I did uh, repurchase one of these. And I think I ended up giving it to <laughs> one of my friends or my cousins as a little gift. Um, but I, I love this concealer and I love using this concealer with this, the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. Because this concealer, it is just the perfect, like, I don't know how to really explain it, but it, it's like no makeup makeup look when you put this on. You can use this. I actually really like using this as almost like a foundation. Like I would use this just to kind of dab around like my under eyes, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit down here because I've kind of been breaking out down here a bit. Um, and this just looks amazing. It's glowy, but not like super dewy in a way that I don't really like. Uh, but it's coverage. It's got coverage there. Like, look, I've got like full coverage on my under eyes. This is just such a great concealer and I was shocked by how much I liked it. And Pat McGrath is very pricey. I actually have a Pat McGrath product in my basket to pick up during the sale, but I was just shocked by how much I liked this concealer. And it's got like a really nice kind of doe foot applicator. Um, and again, it is a bit pricey. So if I were to pick this up, it would be during the sale. And you can't have, well, for me, I mean, I'm not gonna, <laughs> let's stop there. I was gonna say, you can't have a concealer without a loose powder. It, it, the way that I do my under eyes, because I have fine lines on my under eyes, I always set my under eyes just because of how my face is. You don't have to, but if you do, um, a, a luxury, or I keep calling it luxury, technically it's not luxury, but it is higher end. I love the Laura Mercier powder, and I just recently picked myself one up um, a few weeks ago because I have, th there are some really great drugstore powders, and you really don't need to pick up higher end powders because there's so many great affordable ones. But if you want to treat yourself, it's really good. I love the Laura Mercier. Um, I am only recommending this and not the other higher end powder that I picked up recently. Um, I'm actually not really a fan of the Tatcha powder. It's a bit disappointing. So I'm not recommending the Tatcha. I would say save your money on the Tatcha. I'm going to have a video coming out soon after I use up a little bit more of the powder. I'm about halfway through the actual product. Um, but I really do like the Laura Mercier. I have bought at least two of these before this one, used them completely, panned the whole thing. Um, and I keep coming back and purchasing it again because this is one of those overhyped products that technically wasn't overhyped because it's like worth the hype. It had, it had the appropriate amount of hype, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I just really like everything about this powder. It is smoothing. It looks really great on my under eyes, but feels really nice on your skin too. And I don't just use it on my under eyes. I use it in all of my problem areas. So like the T zone, I, I, that's everywhere I set with loose powder. So I set loose powder down here on my chin, up here on the nose, and then just like right here in between my eyebrows because it, it can, um, foundations, especially in the summer, can that's where I tend to start sweating is like right here and then like right here. So that's where foundations would break down first. So I like to set it loose powder there. Um, and the Laura Mercier powder just works so well all over my face. Um, and even though I've bought this not on sale, um, I would say if you're looking to try it or if you want to get a refill on it or stock up, I'd say it can't hurt to pick it up on a sale. I mean, save that money when you can. Um, but I have bought this. I think every time I've bought this, it's just been full price because I like it that much. Hi, Ida. Oh, I just saw your little QP sign. <laughs> Diane said, I bought the Milk Makeup Blurring Powder. It's my favorite. I have not tried that one. I need to add that one to my list because I've been slowly trying um, some other higher end products. The chunky boy just moved. <laughs> but I've been trying some other higher end like loose powders because I've noticed that I like just love. I've got a soft spot for some higher end loose powders like the Givenchy. I love it. The Laura Mercier. I love it. The Tatcha. Not so much. Um, I, I need to add the milk makeup onto my list actually. <laughs> Let's see. How much is it? I might just throw it in my basket. See, this is why I didn't start with my Sephora sale basket because I keep changing it. 
So let's see, the Sephora um, Milk Powder. Okay, $29. I, I'm going to keep the page open there. I might pick it up. I think I might. <laughs> Thanks for the recommendation, Diane. Okay, so we did the foundation, we did concealer, we did powder. Um, I have one blush and then uh, some highlighters to talk through. Um, so the blush that I have that I really actually enjoyed is from Kaja. And this is the Kaja, this is the Juicy Watermelon uh, Cutie Bento. So this is slightly bigger than their eyeshadow bentos. And I saw, like, they literally just came out with, I think this week, a new bento box that is bigger. And it's a... Um, it's a contour, a blush, and a highlighter. So I'm kind of interested in that. I almost added that to my sale basket, but it's only $18. So like that's something I could probably buy full price. And like with this, I believe this is also around $18. So it really isn't too much of a dent if you're buying it full price. But if you can get it on sale, why not get it on sale? Um, so I just love these shades. So this is the Juicy Watermelon number one. And these shades are just gorgeous. And you know what? I actually prepared and I have makeup wipes with me. So let's, let's watch them, shall we? So this is the first shade. It's a beautiful, like, dusty, rosy mauve. And then the second shade is this beautiful, bright, bright shade. So let me show you how they blend out a little bit on my hand. So that's the first shade, the dusty mauve. And then this is the very, very bright red. And they're gorgeous. And they're perfect summer shades. So while I wipe those off... Oh, Gabrielle's here. She says, I love your headband. Thank you. Oh, okay. So I went through. Um, I'm not going to talk about the eyeshadow yet because it's actually one of the palettes I'm going to recommend. So we'll get to it in a little bit. But I was feeling very gold and like yellow today. So I actually went with like a yellow blush too. Um, and I looked through my headbands because I just, I love headbands. I literally have them like on display on my wall because I love them so much. And I saw this one. I was like, I have to wear this headband today. Like it's just perfect. Um, and this is te <laughs> technically, this is from a steampunk Halloween costume. I got it at Spirit Halloween <laughs> like last year. I just love like most of this stuff. Like I can get some of these either at like Marshalls or Home Goods, but this one in particular I got um, at a Spirit Halloween. Other than Spirit Halloween, I get really good headbands from Forever 21, surprisingly. Uh, Forever 21 and then Shot Miss A has a bunch of cute headbands. Like all of the twisty twisty ones that I have um, where they had the metal in them and then they're covered in fabric and they look like cute little bows. I got those from Shop Miss A. So they're really, <laughs> they're really nice. And I love wearing them because A, they help keep my hair kind of tamed and B, you can just change up a whole look by just throwing on a headband. <laughs> and don't, don't knock Spirit Halloween. Like I get so many cute accessories just from the Halloween store because that's just who I am. Like you can clearly see my background. That's who I am. <laughs> Gabrielle said Halloween is the best time to get cute stuff. You bet it is. Like this, all of this stuff. <laughs> all of my stuff. Most likely Halloween-ish. Like that mug. That mug was from a Marshalls around Halloween. That bouquet with the skull in it was from a Home Depot around Halloween. Uh, the, the, these, that was a gift. This was Marshalls around Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, back to the bento box. I... Love these cream blushes, and I cannot wait to try more from Kaja. Um, but again, like I said, I don't think I'm going to get any of these in my sale basket just because they're fairly affordable from what I've seen, you know, in between like $18 and $25. Um, so they're not like ridiculously expensive. Like we're, we're going to get in some more higher end products soon. <laughs> uh, but this is really great, and I would recommend you try it out. I've, unfortunately, I think this exact shade is sold out, um, but they do have a more peachy toned one, I think. And I kind of want to try that one out too, but I think that one's still in stock right now for the sale okay let's do highlighters now for highlighters I was going through my collection and I realized that I had so many of these and they are fairly overpriced I think because I think I've only bought two of these full price the rest I've gotten either at Marshall's or on sale, but I really do like them. And I think it's because I love face palettes and highlighter palettes so much. I actually just filmed a video where I like created my own dream face palettes that'll be coming out soon. But going back to these, I recommend if you're interested, picking up an ABH Glow Kit while it's on sale. Now, I'm gonna go through my favorites. So first I'm gonna take out kind of the outlier um, and that's the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. Now this is a bit dark for me, um, but I love using this as a summer 
face palettes. Like this is like a really nice contour shade on me. This is actually a really nice contour shade as well. This I can just use as a regular highlight. And then this is like a blushy, like a blush topper. And it's just so pretty. And I saw a YouTuber a long time ago use this exactly like that, like as a, a face palette. And I was like, I never even thought about doing that. That's awesome. And it, it looks amazing. And it looks perfectly glowy for the summer. So if you're looking for a nice little face palette, there's an option there. Um, as for the actual glow kits, these are my favorites and they're a bit out there. And honestly, I don't know. I know the Moonchild is definitely still available. I don't know if the Dream Glow Kit is. I'm pretty sure I got this one at um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, but I am home. This is messy. This is the one palette that just looks really messy no matter what I do, so excuse me. Um, but I am wearing the Sunshine shade here as my highlighter today. It's just really pretty, and I love having, like, specifically these two palettes around whenever I want to play with color. Because for me, when I play with color, like today with the yellow, I really want to go and do more like a monochromatic look. So the, the yellow blush that I'm wearing today is actually an eyeshadow from Juvia's Place. And then the yellow highlight that I'm wearing is coming from in here, and I also used it as my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight for my eye look so you've got some really pretty shades in here you got a purple like I definitely I'm going to start doing some like purple monochromatic looks with my pan that palette and that's especially why I pull this one out um, but these shades are really really pretty but like I said I don't know if this one's still available anymore so I'm going to stop there with that but I know the moon child is still available and I love the moon child um, and you've got again some great shades so like that's a deep silver right there these are both purpley and they're really really pretty this green shade lucky clover i love pulling out when i'm doing a deep green look and like this is a perfect inner corner highlight or all over the lid if you're doing eyeshadow looks and then you've got the blue this is actually a blue tint shade over here and then this one is a pinky tinted shade and they're so so pretty and I love having this around. I might not use it all the time, but there are so many times where I'm doing looks and I'm like, I need exactly this kind of shade. And it's in one of these glow kits. Gabrielle said, I'm trying to stop myself from getting Patrick Ta stuff. Their new bronzers are so tempting. I've never tried anything from Patrick Ta. I think I had uh, some blushes from them though on my loves list. Uh, I think I just removed them. I had so many blushes on my loves list. I don't know. I went through like a blush kick a few months ago and like it was just all blushes on my loves list. <laughs> and I cleaned it out mostly as I was going through because normally for the sale, I would go through my loves list and anything I want, I'll just throw it in my basket and we'll see what the total is and how much like wiggle room I have left. Um, but I had a lot of blushes and I cleaned that out. And the last... The last glow kit that I really liked is the Sugar Glow Kit. I just checked the website. This is also still available. Uh, but my favorite shades in here, I love Starburst, that nice pinky shade, and then Marshmallow. It's just a nice bright white. And since we have the time, why don't we just go ahead and swatch. Very, very pretty. And those shades. Yeah. I love that you can actually see what I swatched now. <laughs> Does anyone remember when I used to go live back at the, the old house? You couldn't see. Shit. Rub, rub, rub. All right. So. Oh, and also I didn't pull them out because the ones that I liked the most aren't available from Sephora. But if you are looking to get uh, anything from Becca, I think... This is probably the last sale they're going to have before the brand actually shuts down for good. So if there are any Becca highlights or any other Becca products that you had on your list that you wanted to stock up on, this would be the time to do it. Because I don't know if they're going to still be stocked in Sephora by the time the fall sale comes around. Sad. <laughs> All right, let's do... I've got lipsticks and the rest are either liquid shadows or eyeshadow palettes. So let's start with the lipsticks and then we'll go to eyeshadow. Cause I mean, that's something I could talk literally all day about is just eyeshadow. <sighs> okay, first things first, um, from my black lipsticks videos, um, I wanna recommend the Kindness Vegan, Kindness Vegan with beauty and fun and we do good things. Also known as Cara Veritas, blah 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 <laughs> i'm never gonna stop making fun of the brand I, I actually already forgot what the actual new name of the brand is but this is the kvd uh lipstick this is the black lipstick i don't know if they changed the shade names but i think this is called oh i don't even know what it's called 
I will have it in the description box, but it's the black lipstick from KVD. It's a decent lipstick. Um, and I actually, I like the formula enough that I put a couple different shades of this on my wish list. So I don't know if I'm going to get it during the sale. Um, they're around $18, I believe. Um, but I liked this enough that I think if you're looking for a black lipstick, I don't know who's going to be looking for a black lipstick in April, though. <laughs> but if you are, this. Um, Gabrielle said, LOL, your lighting and video quality is so good now. Thank you. Oh, my God. I'm so happy that it's like at least the lighting I think in the in the old place because I was literally in an attic it was just hard to get like lighting and now there's like lighting it's like it's true when people like I think Smokey Glow just did a video where she's talking about recommendations for if you're looking to get into a YouTube channel number one is lighting it really is lighting makes the biggest difference and Diane said witches yes I think that's the shade I honestly just can't read it right now but I think it's witches for this but yes, I would recommend um, if there's anything KVD that you're into, um, the only things that I have like actual experience with are the foundation and the lipsticks. I'm still testing the foundation. It's not like one of my all time favorites. So I'm not going to like fully recommend that to you guys. But the lipstick, I like this formula and I am going to try and pick up a couple other shades. I like to get like a nice nude in this formula. Um, but the black lipstick is solid, holds up. Um, and if you want to check out all my black lipstick recommendations, I'll throw, once this is done processing, I'll have the playlist of all of my uh, black lipstick videos up in the cards. And my next product recommendation, I think I've had this in like three of my last recommendation videos for the sale, but it's just because these lipsticks are good, they hold up, and they last. I've had these for well over a year now, um, and they still wear well, and they hold up. And that's the Fenty Lip Stunners. I really like these Lip Stunners, and specifically what I'm going to recommend now that it's spring and we're going to get into summer are these two very pretty spring like pastel shades. So you got a pink and you got a coral. The pink, let me try and read this again, is called Unlocked. So this is the Unlocked shade. It's so, so pretty. And these are so comfortable, long wearing and look amazing. The coral shade is called Unattached. It's so pretty. I'm gonna swatch these in just a minute. And I cannot not recommend <laughs> the red one. This is the Uncensored, the original, the first, the best, everything. Excuse me. I love this red lipstick. So let's go ahead and swatch these real quick. But if you were to pick up like any red lipstick from Sephora, it would be this one. Actually, that, this is what I wore back when I used to actually work at Sephora. I used to always wear that. <laughs> and I got uh, comments from like, I don't think I call them managers, but from the managers, they were like, it's a very Sephora look, Monica. You've got the Sephora look. Do I? <laughs> and watch the last one. Oh, these are so pretty and I keep forgetting just how pretty they are. And that's just one swipe. So they're like super pigmented. They're super pretty and they don't transfer. They last a good full day. They're just so pretty. And these aren't all the ones that I have. I do have the um, light, really light nude shade. And I think I have one more shade, um, but just for like spring and summer, these are the shades I would recommend. And I think they came out with a few new shades since these came out. Um, but the whole formula, this formula is just so solid. It's really good. Oh, my whole red's going to, my whole red, my whole hand's going to be red. See, it's, it's tinted pink now. Anyway. There we go. So yeah, so these are a bit pricey. Um, I did buy all of these full price, um, but I would recommend if you're interested, if you want a nice um, long lasting lipstick, I would check these out. Uh, Gabrielle said, do the lips done a smudge under the mask or anything? I have not worn these specifically with a mask on, but I have worn these through a full work day. And once they're dried down, they don't smudge. Um, if you do put this on and like immediately put a mask on or immediately do something, it will smudge. You have to wait for it to fully dry down. Once it's fully dried down, it's in place and it's just there. Um, you might need to reapply this. Um, like I said, I've never worn this a full day, like under a mask. So I don't know if like rubbing up against the mask, it might wear down. Cause I do know in like the butthole area, it can wear down if you're doing a lot of eating or talking or anything else with your, let's not get into that, <laughs> but you might need to reapply. 
but I, from in my experience, outside of actually wearing it with a mask, um, it doesn't move once it's dried down. I'm gonna move some products. I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I think I went overboard on the eyeshadow palette recommendations, but they're kind of the same vein ones I kind of sort of always recommend. And that's kind of like my go-to. Like I said earlier, I like to recommend a, a bit more expensive products that you might not get unless they were on sale since there's not that many sales, but there we go. Let's go into my liquid shadow recommendation. I I think I recommended these in the last sale or I might have gotten them right around the time of the last sale. I did buy these full price, but these are just so good. And they have not dried out on me yet, which is nice. I think I had these since last October or September and I've been using them consistently since. And that is the Natasha Denona, let's not drop it, Chromium Liquid Shadows. These are so good and they're still available. Um, that is one thing about Natasha Denona. She does label the, like things as a limited edition, but these have been around since October. They're still limited edition. They're still available on the website. Some palettes we're gonna talk about, limited edition, but they're still available. Like I think, yeah, these palettes have been out for a while um, and they're still limited edition. So I kind of like that because you don't have to like, rush and like there's not that mentality of like a rush, rush rush oh get this now it's limited edition and then it suddenly becomes permanent at least she's consistent in that she labels them limited edition but they're kind of around for a while i don't know when they're going to go away <laughs> but if you're interested in uh chrome chromium eyeshadows or duo chromey eyeshadows they're so pretty and they're so easy to do a look with i've consistently been using two of these with my Lila Pan That palette. Um, the purple shade, which is ultraviolet, and then the Infranude shade. It's just so pretty. I can get a really pretty look uh, in five minutes with these babies. And then, this is one of the only eyeshadow formulas I can wear on my hooded lids with no primer. No eye primer. I don't have, I don't have to prime my lids to wear these. It's amazing. It's spectacular. <laughs> I did a whole video um, that was very in-depth. I did like eye swatches. I did looks. I did swatches on my arm. Um, let's do some quick swatches while we go, um, just because I love these so much. And I think because they're a bit pricey, they're like $28 each, that if you were going to get them, I would say do them during the sale. This is the first shade. This is Dog Bane. So pretty. So pretty. Next we have Scarab. Oh, Scarab is, I think, one of my favorites. This is the green shade. This is the one that got me to buy these in the first place. Just seeing the look she posted to her Instagram with Scarab. Oh, it's, I need to do a green look soon using Scarab. It's so pretty. Um, next we have Dragonfly. I actually liked using this because it's so red and pinky with my last pan that palette, which was the blood sugar palette. This, yeah. See, so look how bright pink and pretty that one is. Gorgeous. And let's do ultraviolet next. So this is the bright purple. And this has been really pretty. Unfortunately, I, even with working from home, I can't wear this one all over my lid because it does look very, very purple. But it's so pretty. So there's that one. And then I think the one I've gotten the most use out of, at least recently, this is in for nude. And this one doesn't come off as bright or colorful on camera. So I do wear this a lot, especially with my Pan That palette. And that is in for nude right there. So these are, these are gorgeous. They're just as, I don't want to say juicy, but like liquidy. <laughs> Um, as they were when I got them. Um, I'm, I was actually really worried that they would dry out uh, because they were so expensive and because they're so small, but they haven't. I've had them. I've used them consistently. Thankfully, they're still here. So I would recommend you get them on sale if you're interested. And you don't need, honestly, you do not need all the shades. So I would say pick out one or two you would use consistently if you're interested and just get those. But I, I think I bought two of them first. And then I was so just impressed and like enraptured from it that uh, I bought the rest of them. <laughs> but there's five shades total. So those are all five. If you're interested, I'd say pick them up while they're on sale because they are a bit pricey, but they do last. 
Ida said pretty shades. Yes, they are very, very pretty shades. Um, and you can use them with so many different palettes. And it's so quick to get just like a quick look. Like there are mornings, I typically wake up at around six um, cause I like having my mornings, my morning quiet time, my morning makeup time, but there are mornings where like I sleep in and I'm tired and I still want to do a full face of makeup, but I don't want to spend half an hour doing my eyeshadow. I get one of these, I do a quick look and then I use a matte shade to deepen up the outer V and then I'm good and I look amazing. <laughs> They're good. <sighs> Let's now get into the actual eyeshadows. So, um... I've got a few different sections of palettes, and then I'm gonna talk about what I'm actually gonna get in my basket because I'm actually gonna check out right after this live stream and get whatever I want during the sale. Um, a few of these are some repeats from my last sale recommendations, but these are really the ones I would recommend you get if you're interested with the discount. Um, the first, I hope this is still available because this is the one I forgot to double check, but it's the Melt, the, the Millennial Pinks palette. This palette just impressed the heck out of me. It is a bit messy. So unfortunately, like the darkest shades do stain the packaging so it doesn't look as nice. But I love this palette so much. I get some of the prettiest smoky eyes I have ever done using these darker shades. And then the silver, beautiful. And then this shade right here is like a slight duochrome with a pink shift. And then these pinks are just so pretty. I, can, I can't get over how much I, I am impressed by this palette. Um, melt palettes are a bit expensive, uh, so I would recommend getting this during the sale, but if you're interested in these shades, um, they do hold up. They are very versatile, and they blend like a dream. Uh, Fallout City, though, so do your eyes first before you do your makeup, especially these dark shades. I did a really, really pretty, like, dark, 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 smoky eye. I think the last time I did a sale video, I'll double check. But I think the last recommendation sale live stream that I did, I was wearing this palette, um, but I had to do my eyes first because I just had black eyeshadow like all the way down. <laughs> but it's so, so pretty. And I love, I love, love, love these shades. And I didn't think I would like it as much because I'm not really a huge fan of pink eyeshadow. Like I like pink shadow, but it's definitely not one of the first things I would pick up, you know? Um, but yeah, super surprised, super impressed. And it is a bit of an older palette, which I really hope it's still available. I didn't double check this one. I double checked the rest of them, <laughs> but not this one. So I hope it's still available. Uh, it's really good and it holds up. Thea Isabel said, woo, we waiting for this. Ah, yes, I'm so glad you can make it. The next, oh, there's a little bit of makeup on this palette. I should have cleaned that up. <laughs> <laughs> the next group of uh, little palettes that I have are from Huda Beauty. So these are my favorites of like the little mini nine pan palettes. I know that they just came out with a whole new line of like the brown obsessions palettes. None of those were like super intriguing to me, but I did want to say um, I really do think their formula for the obsessions palettes is solid. And um, these are the two that I have and I really, really like, especially the smoky obsessions. This was one of my first like dedicated smoky palettes because I used to be afraid of doing like a smoky eye for so long. I just didn't think it would like look good on me. <laughs> I don't know. I was really afraid of doing it, but then I got this palette and it was one of the first ways I kind of eased into doing some hardcore smoky eyes. And it's just, it's a really good palette. And you know, back when we used to like travel, I would always take this traveling. Um, I mean, I'm not, I haven't traveled in well over a year, but I do love how compact this is. I love the little mirror that you get in here and the shades are just stunning. They're beautiful. Uh, uh, moving on to the mauve obsession. So this is really, really gorgeous as well. Not as much used, but really, really pretty shades. You can get a really nice look out of here. And I just, I think the formula, like it's nothing to do with formula, but I think Honestly, in my collection, I probably have other palettes with the same kind of color story I could reach for. Um, but this one, I just think is really, really pretty. And last but not least, I really like the nude light palette. So this is back when they came out with the three separate like nude palettes. They had like a light, medium, and a deep. Um, but this one is just, the packaging is a bit of an upgrade. So it's a bit plastic and it's got like this really nice kind of embossed front on it. And these are the shades. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. So this is, I believe I wore not this last New Year's because we were moving <laughs> last New Year's, but the New Year's before, I think. Uh, I went to my boyfriend's family 
party for New Year's. It was like New Year's 2019 to 2020. Um, but we I wore this and it's so pretty. I just, I love this. It's super, super soft, super, super light. Um, but it's just, I don't know. Like, I feel like it doesn't look like much in the pan, but when you transfer these onto the eyes, it's just effortless. Like it's beautiful. Um, so I really like this. And it seems like those brown palettes are like this same formula and packaging. So if you're interested in those more neutrally kind of shades, I would say go for it. I have not personally tried those newer ones out yet, but I will say these older Obsessions palettes and this nude one are super solid and I really enjoy them. Thea Isabel said, also love your eyeshadow look, such a pretty tone. Thank you. Oh, so let's actually, let's get into the palette that these shades are from because I was just obsessed with these shades. Now the whole next group of palettes is for anyone who's interested in Natasha Denona. So I've got, these aren't even all my Natasha Denona palettes, but I have a lot of Natasha palettes. And I know during the sale is, I mean, actually the very first Natasha palette I ever got was during the sale. And I waited specifically for the sale to get it because they're so expensive. Um, the first one I got was a sunset palette. Honestly, solidly looking at the colors and knowing the dupes that are available now, I wouldn't have bought this if I had known what I know now. I, I mainly keep this because it's like super sentimental to me now. Um, and I wanted it for so long and I waited like eight months to get it and I saved up. So it's really more sentimental than it is like actually like fantastic makeup. <laughs> but this would be the time to get a Natasha palette, the bigger ones, um, if you're interested. And I say only if you're interested because now that wasn't out back then. They do have the midi palette. So there's like the sunrise palette is only 65. That'd be a great one to get if you um, also get the sale. So that's be a lot cheaper than these because these ones are the 129. These two. So the sunset palette, I can't super recommend unless you're like dying for that color story. And even then there are kind of some really good dupes out there. But a few palettes, uh, let's, let's, let's do the other one I wouldn't super recommend. <laughs> Um, I got this one. So this is the big 28 palette. This is the, this is the, the, this is the one where I don't even want to say how much it cost out loud because it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> this was a suit. This was like a student loan payment <laughs> palette. Uh, but I love the greens and I knew that I really wanted to try this palette out, especially because, um, I saw, I don't support this person anymore, but a long time ago I saw an influencer use this for her wedding day makeup and it was just so pretty. And that's the one where it's like, I want this palette. So I got it. I do have some pans. I used this in a, a project pan last year and I got some great use out of it. But to be quite honest, not worth the amount of money it is. Let's move on to some that I really enjoy and would recommend you pick up um, and including where my eye makeup is today. So this is the Metropolis palette. This was, I believe, a limited edition palette from last year, but it's still available. I just took this for a website today. It is available and it is in stock. I did reorganize my palette, so it's not gonna look like the palette currently on the website, but I love this palette. <laughs> this is so grungy. It is beautiful. It's got this nice range to it. Now you can really only see this because I've kind of, I did my best to organize this kind of like in rainbow shade order, but you can see there's clear like blues and greens, and then you've got some oranges and pinks, and then you've got a row of like golds, and then you've got neutrals. So you've got a lot to work with here. Personally, out of all the palettes from Natasha Denona that I would say for my makeup taste and what colors I'm interested in, this is probably the most worth it to me. The sh the pans are a bit smaller. So this uh, that palette is 129, like the rest of her regular palettes, but the pans themselves are smaller because it's got double the amount of actual shades in it. So this is the Sunset. This is the Metropolis. As you can see, the pan sizes much smaller, but you've got like double the amount of shades in the Metropolis. And that's another reason why I think this one is so unique is because they they did that. They chopped those pan sizes in half and they went with just more variety. Now you can, there is an argument to be made that some of these are kind of repeaty and you really didn't need like this kind of corner right here. But honestly, I, I really like this palette. And I think if you were to go out on a limb and try a Natasha, like a full size Natasha palette, this is for people who are interested in getting a full size Natasha palette at the 129 price mark. If you were there, I would say either get this Metropolis palette that is still available or, I know this is new, I really like it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I really like the Circle Loco palette. This is again at that 129 price point, but the packaging is different. Um, I actually, I think I've got one of each type of packaging here. So um, you've got this kind of soft, squishy packaging with the black background where you can kind of easily pop shades out. That's one of the type of the Natasha packaging. Um, this is, I believe, the packaging they typically use now for the midi palettes, the $65 palettes. Um, but it's got the same amount of shades as the uh, Sunset because it is the 129. This is gorgeous. I did do a video with a couple of looks of this palette, but this is like her first, I believe, full color palette. The Tropic palette, which had terrible reviews. <laughs> the Tropic palette did have a row of color, but it wasn't like because of the reviews, I, I'm going to be honest, I steered so far clear away from that. The Tropic palette, and then they also came out with a mini of the Tropic palette, which was just, ugh, so... I didn't try those, but these, oh my God, it's so pretty. I just, I think this came out at like a really great time. Uh, and specifically for me, um, I got this because A, I, I really wanted more purples and oranges. I personally just really like orange and yellow because I think it really looks well with my complexion, especially now that I'm just like really, really pale. But also I'm panning the Lila palette. And I didn't want to recommend the Lila because I feel like I'm talking about it enough in my Pan That Palette series. So I'm not going to make it like an official recommendation part of this video. But with the shades here that I am working to pan, this palette just works so well together with it. And let's see if I can put them up side by side and not break anything. There you go. So I just think like those pinks and those purples, maybe even some of those blues just work so well with this palette. So that's why I think the Circle Loco is worth it. I think it's really pretty. I am gonna have a full review video come out. I think I'm gonna do a review roundup and do a full full reviews because I already did a, do a full video with this. Oh, I also wanna do um, a palette roulette with this because this would be a fun palette to do a palette roulette with. I'm actually gonna make a note to do that because I don't think I have that on my list yet. Palette roulette. Circle local. There we go. It's on my calendar now. But um, just so, so pretty. And I think if you were to pick up a Natasha palette at that 129 point, I would say definitely get it on sale and do it either now or in the fall. So we went through, there's the big, super expensive price point for the palette. You've got the regular kind of 129 price points. Another great level for Natasha Denona are the minis. So I actually have two of the minis in my basket right now. I'm going to get the mini love because I didn't want to get the full love palette. I'm going to get the mini love and I'm going to get the mini retro palette. Um, and the one that I already have right now is the mini gold because um, I didn't want to get the full gold palette because again, these are expensive. <laughs> but if you want to get like just the condensed version of a Natasha palette. If, you, if this is your first time trying Natasha shadows and you really just want to dip your toe in and like get a feel for them, I would say definitely go for a mini. Uh, I'm going to get a mini of a couple more of them. And I really enjoy this mini. The color story is just so pretty. Um, and since this is the last palette I have to talk about, let's go ahead and swatch it so I can show you guys the color story here. But you do get the same quality. It's just a smaller size. So look how pretty those like grungy tones. The winner for me in any palette are just the grungy tones. <laughs> Let's wash the last one with my thumb so I don't have to wash up my hand in between. Here we go. So that's the mini gold palette. And honestly, if you look at these swatches versus the full size of the gold palette, you basically get the essentials right? Outside of these, they're kind of like just little repeats. I'm not knocking off people who love the full gold palette, like um, LS loves the gold palette, and she's actually super tempting. She was tempting me to get the gold palette, which is why I got the mini gold. So quite honestly, if you have the mini, you do not need the full size of any of the palettes. So if you have the mini sunset, don't buy the sunset palette. You already have it. If you get the mini love, don't get the full size love palette. Ida said, I have the bronze palette, but can't see the hype. Must be the name. <laughs> that could definitely be part of it. Um, and to be honest, I think some of the like more neutrally palettes, uh, I mean, they aren't really super exciting, aren't they? Like if you're getting a hundred-ish dollar eyeshadow palette, don't you want it to like knock your socks off, right? 
I, I got that from the Circle Loco and from the Metropolis. But the other two, to, to be honest, I could have left without. <laughs> Uh, but I'm not knocking the formula. And actually, this is actually going to be a good segue into what's going to be in my basket. Because those are all my recommendations. That's kind of everything that I went through and I had put together to share with you guys. So those are my recommendations for this year. Moving on into what I'm actually going to pick up. And one of the things I wanted to pick up, which is kind of along the lines of Natasha Denona, I have not yet gotten a full-size regular, like permanent Pat McGrath palette. I'm finally going to get one. So I think, let me pull up, I think I have the app on my phone. I can pull up my basket. Oh no, I don't. I got rid of it. Anyway, I'll look up here because I have it all in my basket. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I do want to get a Pat McGrath palette and I'm getting it during the sale because expensive. <laughs> exactly. So let me pull up my shopping basket. Okay, yes. So I'm going to get the Pat McGrath Mothership 5, 6, 7, 8. I had to count the Roman numerals. I'm getting the Divine Rose 2 palette because I was looking at the palettes and the swatches. And honestly, that one just jumps out the most at me. It it intrigues me the most. The colors are there. So that one, I'm going to try it. I'm going to finally get it. A full-size Pat McGrath. I do have, um, it's it's back in a basket, so it's going to be a pain in the butt to get out. But I do have a, a holiday palette from Pat McGrath. But I've heard, it didn't, it, it underwhelmed me a bit, but I did hear the holiday palettes are not as great as these full-size Pat McGrath palettes. So to, to assuage my super, supreme curiosity, I'm going to get that Divine Rose 2 palette. And that's my big purchase for the sale this year. Gabrielle said, I want to circle local mini. 129 is hard. You're right. 129 is hard. And they should 100% come out with either a midi or a mini of the circle local. Because it's it's fantastic. And I really hope that the palette does well. And they see Natasha sees that color really will come through. Um, but like in a mini, I could totally see having like a blue, this light like lilac, a pink an orange and a gold. Like that would look so pretty. But yes, so I, I think there definitely should be a smaller version of that colorful palette, um, especially because the Tropic was just kind of such a, a... Gabrielle said, Pat McGrath is doing a netter sale right now. What's a, a netter? A better? 25% on stuff under 150 and 30% over 150. Oh, okay. Uh, how is shipping though? I gotta double check that. Because honestly, I was only gonna do it through Sephora because I get free shipping and because um points. But even then, like Sephora points, there really isn't much. I wish I could have bought it through Ulta. Ulta is better. Diane said, My boyfriend bought the Divine Rose 2 for me when I graduated from graduate school. It's beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so glad you like it. I'm excited. Like I was looking at all the palettes side by side and I was looking at videos and I'm like, out of, out of all of them, I think that's the one I'll get the most use out of. So Amanda said Pat McGrath has free shipping. Hmm. I might have to look and get it directly from the site then because that's that's a hell of a deal. 25% off and free shipping as opposed to just the 20% off from Sephora. I'll double check tonight and I'll see if I can get that. And if it can, I'll probably just buy it directly from them. Thanks for the heads up. I have never would have known. I only get them through Sephora. I don't, I try not to sign up for too many individual makeup, like subscription, makeup, like email subscriptions, because you just get so many emails, you know? <laughs> like, I think I spend a good, like, 15 minutes a day just, like, sorting through my personal email and not even to talk about my work email. But um, I try to cut down my, like, newsletter, is that what they're called? Newsletter subscriptions, just to ones that I'm really into and want to keep an eye on. So yes, yeah, so that's the first thing I'm going to get. I'm going to get the Divine Rose 2 palette. Um, next, I already talked about the other two palettes I wanted to get, the Natasha Denona. I want to get the Mini Retro and the Mini Love palettes. Mini Love, uh, I was actually super tempted to actually get the Love palette, but I know I don't need the full palette. So I know they had a Mini, so I was like, I should just go with the Mini. Mini Retro has been on my loves list for a while. Um, 
And I just like the grungy tones. Realistically, I probably already have those shades, but I want the mini retro palette. It's cute. <laughs> and it's $25 and I'm going to get the sale price on it. So 20%. Um, next in my basket, I am getting a black lipstick from Dior for the next best and worst of black lipsticks video. I, I think I'm going to take my time. I'm probably going to time it and have the next video come out at the beginning of October. Um, cause I do need to pick up a few more black lipsticks and I want to get some more higher end ones and I want to get some more from like different indie brands. So I think it's going to take me a little bit, but I'm excited to do another video because those are some of the best performing videos on my channel. And I still get comments on them like all the time. So I'm going to get the Dior. It's called the Rouge Dior Ultra Rouge Lipstick, and it's in shade 111 Ultra Night, and it's a, just a pitch black lipstick from Dior, and it's $38, so that's why I'm getting it <laughs> during the sale. Um, other than that, um, I don't see any restrictions on this. And I see my shade is still in stock or the shade that I wanted is still in stock. I'm going to get the easy, the ease drop blurring skin tint from Fenty Beauty. I'm going to get shade one. It is very light, but I figured I could use it more as a mixing medium or I could warm it up. But I, I'm really curious to try it out. And that's $29.50. So I want to get it on sale just in case maybe I don't like it. Who knows? Um, so I'm going to get that. And then the last two things I currently have in my basket are from Rare Beauty. I'm finally going to pick up some of the liquid blushes because I've been wanting those for a while. They've gotten amazing reviews. <laughs> and so I finally want to pick those up. And those are $20 each. I have two shades in my basket. The first one is the color Grateful, which is like the bright red, which... Ooh, all the monochromatic looks I could do with that. I just, oh, I'm excited. And then I'm going a little bit out of my comfort zone and I'm getting a bright purple. I'm getting the color Faith. And I'm just thinking of the pretty, pretty looks I could do with my Pan That palette. It was some purple shades and then purple blush, like liquid blush, and then topping it with a purple powder, either eyeshadow or blush. Ah, I just, I'm excited. So I'm going to get out of my comfort zone and get that. So that's everything I currently have right now in my Sephora basket. So I've got the two Natasha palettes, the mini retro, the mini love. I've got the, the Dior uh, black lipstick. I have the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I have the two liquid blushes from uh, Rare Beauty. And then I have the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette. So that's currently where my basket stands. Um, for people who don't like watching these live streams, because I know they're not for everyone, I'm going to do a follow-up video once ever I get my order in and just do a quick little haul of everything I got during the sale. Whew. And as I've been talking for nearly an hour, I think we're just about done. I, I don't, like, I'm going to go and cook dinner after this, but, like, I don't want to take this look off. I am just... Loving this whole look. <laughs> oh, it's just so pretty. Anyway, thank you guys for joining. I hope you guys liked these recommendations. I'm going to type up everything I actually recommended and add it to the description box so that once this is done processing, it'll pop up. Um, I'll also add this to the playlist of all of my other sale recommendation, live streams, and regular videos that I've done. Um, and I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Cheers.